Stand by. Well, my name is Crystal Dunn, and uh, I'm here shooting the USPSA Nationals for uh, Federal and Akai and Arns and Arms and Ben Steger Pro Shop. How's it gone for you today? You know what? It's gone okay. This is actually, this match is, is really interesting. There's a lot of partial targets, there's a lot of hard shots, a lot of low hit factors. So you got to kind of balance your speed and your accuracy on this one, as, as with all stages, but especially in this one, you got to get those hits. Uh, is there anything... Uh uh, strategically different about this match as opposed to other matches you've been to? Yeah, I mean, again, like I said, there's a lot more tough shots, a lot more partial targets for this uh, match, and so I would say that you kind of have to look at the stages and approach each one differently. There's not a whole lot of options on these stages, but again, you just got to try to get those A's as fast as you can on this one. Now, I noticed uh, a lot of people are packing up, so are you coming back in the morning? Yeah, so actually tomorrow we'll be an afternoon squad, okay. and then we'll be morning again on Sunday. Gotcha. So how many uh, courses have you done today? Today we did six, so they're splitting it up into about five or six a day. Oh, gotcha. And how have you done? Yeah, we've done okay so far today, but there's a lot more match left, so I had a couple couple penalties on this stage. The stage wasn't as nice for me, so I'm mean, looking forward to the rest of the match. What uh, what comes after this match for you? Um, so this will actually be my last USPSA match for the season, last major, and then I'm actually going out to Blue Steel Ranch, New Mexico, to do a rifle match with JP Rifles. All so, right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. If you are finished, unload and shut. Are you ready? Stand by. Hey, I'm Mike Jones from American Precision Target Systems from Gilbert, Arizona. And uh, tell me what you got here. Yeah, uh, we have uh, AR-500 steel targets. We have uh, just the targets behind us here. You can see that uh, they're the steel challenge type targets and also a resettable popper, which uh, is pretty unique. But uh, so <clears throat> basically, you, uh, you, you get tired of walking down range and, and setting, resetting the poppers. Well, this one just stands back up no matter how many times you hit it. All galvanized uh, equipment, so there's no chipping, there's no rusting, no, no worrying about that. And even though steel targets are heavy, ours break down so quick and so easy that you can even take them apart, put them in the trunk of a small car, uh, and, and again, no, no tools required at all.
and our claim to fame is this universal head that fits any size of uh, our plates or our gongs and <clears throat> it's all protected obviously by the steel except for these brackets that hold the plates they're AR500 but when they get dinged up you can just pull the pin and remove this piece and replace the piece and you know for five bucks you're repaired and you're shooting again very cool and gravity holds it all together yeah just like that very nice <laughs> well, thank you thank you appreciate it And the app is awesome. The, the really nice thing about the computer, the camera connected to the computer, is that I could set this up, you know, on a table with the camera really close to their, their array of targets, and I can be back here, and I can go two, 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 check my time, and then instead of having to run up to this and click on it and reset it like you do with the app, mm -hmm. you can literally just fire below the target and it'll reset the system right. and then you're ready to go again. So you fire below, reholster and nice. keep doing what you're doing. So it's pretty cool. She can explain you much better than me. So you've been watching the Shooting Sports Channel's coverage of the CZ Ironsight Nationals here in southern Utah. And this just about wraps it up for me. Please be sure to give us a like, share, subscribe. Let us get those uh, audience numbers up and we can keep coming to events like this and bring you more coverage. I'm John Hoyt and thanks for watching.